lads, thanks for joining us. It's Gillingham tomorrow. Jake, we'll start with you. How are you and the lads heading into that one? Yeah, no, I think um, obviously the result Saturday. Um, we didn't obviously want it to win the game, um, but I think now we we got to just start look towards Tuesday, um, and uh, hopefully we can go out there and try and put a performance on that uh, we can go and get a result and try and bounce back from uh, what we did on Saturday. Yeah. And Jack, obviously your first ninety minutes of professional football for Crawley, how did you find it? Yeah, I think it's fine. I've played enough games now to be able to manage myself in situations like that. Um, so I enjoyed it as my debut, but I obviously didn't enjoy it because of the result. And as Jake said, we just got to now look for look on to Tuesday now and, and get a result at home. I suppose it's, we saw last season it can sometimes take a while for sort of partnerships to form. Obviously, you guys have played together in sort of pre-season, but it's going to take a while for the whole like squad to gel. We've got a few new players, especially on Saturday as well. You know, Owen at left back. We saw it last year, especially you, Jake. It did take a while for the lads to gel. Is that what we can expect? Do you think? Yeah, I think like you say, I think it's going to take a bit of time. We've uh, we picked up a few injuries as well along the way in pre-season. Obviously, missing Nico as well, um, and I think we had to change our shape. Saturday, we had to go to a different shape. We've not played really a lot in pre-season. We uh, we went from playing 4-4-2, which is uh, we've been playing all, all, all season, and uh, we had to change shape. And uh, yeah, I think like you say, there's some new faces, but we've all we've all played with each other. I've played with Paney, uh a number of years ago, and I think uh, we've all played with each other in pre-season. Now it will take time, but I think. Um, the next couple of games are, are massive for us, and uh, hopefully we can go and uh, go and get a result on, on Tuesday. And I suppose, obviously, you mentioned there, there's a lot of competition for places this year because you know of all the new signings we've brought in, and you know no one's place is necessarily safe. So it's almost it's a good thing and a bad thing, I suppose, as a player, because you're always sort of watching out behind you. But it's good to have that sort of competition next year, I suppose. Yeah, the gap has made it clear that no one's safe. I think we've got quality in areas where you're going to have to fight for your show, and when you get it, you're going to have to play well to keep it. Because if you don't, you know someone else is knocking on the door. Um, but that's the way it needs to be when you've got a tight squad. Budgets this year are not massive, so you need to be a tight knit group that when one's not playing, he supports the other. And I think we've got that here, to be fair. And obviously, from what I've seen since I've come through the door, so it's only going to be a positive come the end of the season. And obviously, Gillingham tomorrow night. Familiar for both of you. You both played there before. Jake, I can imagine you'll just be hoping to get one over on them as a result as well. Uh, I think I speak both of us, really. I think it's always quite nice to play against your old, your old team. The teams you play, play for. Um, so no, it'd be uh, be nice to welcome them to, to Crawley. We played them last year, didn't we, in the uh, in the checker trade? Um, but I didn't really get to play much part of that. I was still coming in, obviously coming in to start of the season there, really. But uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be another game for us, um, and uh, hopefully we can, like I say, go and get a result. Yeah, fantastic away support. On Saturday, obviously, it wasn't the result that we wanted, but you've got to give credit to the 200 or so Crawley fans that made that mad journey up, and then I'm sure they'll be cheering on tomorrow night as well. Yeah, so we appreciate that as players. I know sometimes we don't get to say it, but we do appreciate it. And hopefully they're all there Tuesday in good voice and we can go and put on the performance and then get us the result that we want. Obviously, Jake, we sort of turned our home into a fortress last year. You know, some really impressive results. And the year before that, obviously, you weren't there. I suppose we'd just be looking to channel that again this season and make our home form as good as possible. Yeah, like you said, I think we we were very consistent at the start of the season. Our home form was very good. Um, I think that's what we need to do this year again. We need to keep it, keep being consistent at home and uh, and away, just try and keep picking up results. Um, like I said, I think I've done a thing earlier on in the in the season, a bit of a press thing, and I said to us that last year, before January, we were very good. We were up there, and I think obviously the back end of the season we we, we, we fell away. I think this year we need to be a bit more consistent, and I think that starts obviously being a fortress at, at home. Yeah, definitely. A lot of games coming up. Obviously, we've got Tuesday, Saturday, then Tuesday again, and Saturday. I suppose at the start of the season it's good because you've had a lot of time in pre-season to sort of get the legs going, but I suppose you'll just be looking to get him back, back home instead of travelling that mammoth journey again. Yeah, there's nothing like when the game's start in the season. Obviously the home games are obviously brilliant. You get your fans back now, so then they're all excited to come back. And the atmosphere is good around the place. So, um, But we just want to play games. So Saturday, Tuesday, I don't think it bothers anyone because you've had so long about it. It's, it's just natural now when you come back, you know you're going to be playing Saturday, Tuesday. So you just look forward to sort of hopefully getting picked and then going to perform. Yeah, and obviously we mentioned those fans, but we're hoping to have a few more at home. It would just be great to see so many people back at the stadium. We obviously had a little bit of it against West Ham and Tottenham, but seeing an almost full stadium would be really special. No, 100%. I think, like you say, we saw a little bit against the West Ham game. We saw it obviously at Hartlepool. They travelled really well for us. Obviously, Hartlepool had a lot out there as well. And you can just see everything with everyone, every game at the moment. I think with fans back in the stadiums, it's just it's massive for everyone. Um, results, home, home games with fans for us will help, will help us massively. Um, so now, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that. Cheers, guys. Best of luck tomorrow. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you.